Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and today I just wanted to make this really quick video on how to sign up with Sam.gov. So let's say you want to start government contracting in 2025 and you don't know where to start. Well, no matter what you do or what you end up doing, you need to be signed up in one place and that is Sam.gov. So you need to sign up as well as get your UEI and cage code, which is a unique entity identifier and your cache code. So why should you register with SAM.gov in the first place? And what is SAM.gov? So SAM stands not for Uncle Sam, it stands for System Award Management. And here's why you need to sign up. First thing first, you SAM.gov's registration is required to bid on federal contracts. Without an active SAM registration, you can't be really considered for opportunities offered by the government. So you also won't be getting paid if you're not registered in SAM.gov and that is because you won't even be able to bid on these federal contracts. It's also a big thing in compliances as your SAM registration, it's what makes sure your business is compliant with federal regulations and guidelines. And most importantly, it's where all the federal bids are all listed on. So here's a quick tutorial on how to sign up and get started with government contracting. So once you're on SAM.gov, as you see, this is what the website looks like. The first thing you'll do is you'll click on the sign in button right here, agree to the terms of use, and that will take you to login.gov, which is how you can securely log in with government websites. You go to create an account and over here you'll fill out your information. And once you submit your information, it'll send you a verification email. So you go on your email and confirm your email address. Over here, you'll set up a new password and then continue. And from here, you need to set up an authentication method, whether it's your phone call, whether it's a text message, where it, whether it's an external app like Authentiki, for example. But we'll go ahead and just do a text or voice message. Entered, and now that I entered the verification code that I got by text message, I've added my first authentication method, which could be enough for now, and we're gonna skip for now. We don't need to set up more than one. And now we just have to scroll down and agree to the terms of conditions. Submit. Next thing we do is we set up our profile. So for this part, now we need to request a role. We're going to leave this empty for now because we need to put the entity information here and the role. We're going to skip it for now and we're just going to skip and finish. And here you go. Now we're fully set up and we have full access to Sam.gov. Once now we're all signed up on Sam.gov, we can get a unique identity identifier. So we can just go on here. If you scroll down under the entity information, you'll find the get started button. So we'll click get started and it's going to take us to this page. We'll create a new entity. And from here, you just fill out the form based off your goals and needs. So we're just going to do it directly with the U.S. government. So we'll select the federal government as our uh, primary source and over here you're going to select which department you think you will be working with the most right now we're just going to leave it empty to keep our options as vast as possible and now you uh, you're going to get to this page and it's going to give you three options what which one do you want to choose so the first option is unique identity id only the second is financial assistance and the third is all awards so for each one of them there's a list and it checks off which one you want and the reason why it's different because the, the level of effort is different and the expiration date is also different. So see which one fits you best and uh, select that one. The all awards is the recommended one. However, it is the highest level of effort. Now, if you need any other information about the registration, I'm going to leave a link in the description about all the steps and all the information necessary that you need to register with Sam.gov and the UEI and the cage ID and all the good stuff. But for now, let's select the UEI only. And over here, you're going to put the information of your business. Before registering with Sam.gov, you need to have your LLC ready. So now you input the information of your business and your address and you go next. And now you validate the information that you submitted. So make sure you can officially document your entities and provide any other information if necessary. Once you go on here, we go next. And now the government searches for your LLC and it'll show you the top results and you either select it 
and if you don't see it here you can just go on I don't recognize my entity in the list now I don't have my LLC input and the information here because this is just an example but we're going to go ahead and enter our incorporation information which is 2024 and Washington so now that we selected this and over here you add any documents uh, you couldn't find your LLC in the search so you can add the documents here of your registration of your LLC and those documents you should have you should have gotten them um, once you registered your company with one of the states now that we successfully uploaded our documents the validation level starts and this takes the longest time it takes from one to two from one to three days once they get back to us the, we complete the validation and we get the unique identity ID now, however, if you do have your business registered and you were able to find it from the search, from the second step, uh, you would not need to be waiting this long. It's probably going to be a lot faster than not waiting here. But because we had to submit information about our LLC, we are now in the waiting time. Now that we're still waiting on the validation, we can still go to the search tab and still search for contracts. Over here, we have the search engine of sam.gov. And I won't be explaining I won't be explaining this in this video, but stay tuned for another videos on how to search better and faster with the help of AI and government contracting. I hope this video helps. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.